Hey cool crafters, I am back again today at the Make Lab at YouTube Space LA and it's the perfect time to talk to you about how to pour into bezels with Cool to Cast. So let me show you what you need. You're going to start with bezels. Now you see these in the jewelry department. These are new hat pins. You can get pendants. You can find rings that are bezels. This has been used a lot with resin in crafting, but I wanna show you how easy it is to pour cool to cast into these bezels. The first thing that you want to do is you want to measure out your cool to cast, and I just measure it right into a plastic bag. Follow your directions on the package, add water, and be sure that you seal this up very well. I have been known to splash cool to cast on me. I also hold this very tightly just to make sure that none of that's going to splash out. You want to shake this for about a minute. Be sure that you check the corners and you get all of the dry cool to cast right out of those corners. Give it a good shake for about a minute. The cool to cast is ready to pour. So you want to be sure that you have all of your bezels on a level surface and you're going to be able to tell if it's level when you start pouring. For the rings, I just poke them right into a piece of foam, and so that's going to help keep those laying nice and even. You, while still holding the cool to cast bag, what you want to do is cut a little tiny little corner off that bag, all right? And a little bit of air burps right out of that. The key when you're pouring your bezels is really it just takes drops. It doesn't take a whole lot. So carefully use that corner as your spout and just carefully pour it in. So don't over pour. You don't want to over pour into your mold. So let's see if I got it right there. Give it a shake and it's perfect. All right, so just a few drops make a big difference when you're pouring into your bezels. And I want to slow it down just a little bit, especially when I get into the smaller bezels. I like to pour right up to the top because I might want to stamp these, so I want my stamp design to cover the entire surface, so I don't want the cool to cast to be recessed. Drop, a few more drops, there you go. Give it a shake. Now, we'll let that dry just like this. If you have a little bit of overpour, don't worry about that, just let it dry. Once you've poured into your bezels, you wanna just be sure and just leave them to dry for at least an hour. That's when it begins to get solid. Don't move them. I have more cool to cast left. So what I wanna do is always have some molds ready and I'm gonna pour my extra cool to cast into my molds. You never wanna throw away any of your cool to cast. You can use it all. Same thing when you're pouring into these molds, don't over pour. And just, you wanna tap it to get those bubbles out of there. They're going to rise right to the surface. Let everything dry for at least an hour and then you can let it set overnight. These are the pieces that have been sitting overnight and you can see that they are ready to color and to stamp. So that's how easy it is to pour cool to cast into bezels. So if you have any questions about cool to cast, be sure and leave me comments because I love to answer your questions. And I want to invite you to subscribe to Cool to Craft on YouTube. I'm Tiffany Windsor and I think it's cool to craft.